Welcome to Jank Play TCG. My name's Landon, and here we play Jank. And today I am bringing you Driftblim. Driftblim is a fantastic card. Really like it. Super easy to do. 200 damage with it, and it can partner very well with the Scarlet Violet uh, Drift Loon that is often seen played with. Uh, Gardevoir. So I wanted to build a deck without Gardevoir that focused on this Driftblim, and this is what I got. I'm calling it Blast Off Now, because Everyone Explode Now is a fantastic name for an attack, and I want to uh, kind of riff on it with Blast Off Now, you know, referencing Team Rocket. So exactly what does Driftloom do, right? So for a single energy, one energy, crazy, uh, this attack does 50 damage for each of your Driftloom and Drift Blim in play. This attack also, uh, also does 30 damage to each of your Drift Loom and Drift Blim. So, you are dealing 200 damage if you can get four Pokemon out, which is fairly easy. And then um, you are doing, dealing 30 damage to those Pokemon that are out there helping you do that 200 uh, damage. So that can get a little risky, but we like risky because of this Drift Loom. This Drift Loom with the two energy attack, Balloon Blast, this attack does 30 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Well, it has 70 HP. It can survive two attacks from a Drift Blim in the active, meaning 400 damage. And then this Drift Loom has 10 HP remaining, six damage counters, six times three is 180. That's pretty good, right? We can make it better though. We can also play Bravery Charm on this Drift Loom to put its HP even higher and then it can survive more and all that goodness. We are also playing Monkey Dory in this list because I like the idea of manipulating the damage on my Drift Looms so I can maximize my uh, possible Balloon Blast, right? It, it is kind of difficult to work within this deck, but thanks to Drift Blim's single energy attack, um, it makes it a heck of a lot easier, actually. The real problem is getting Balloon Blast to work. That's, that's been my struggle, honestly. Um, we're also playing Manaphy, just in case our opponent's playing some bench hitting. We got Manaphy to protect him. We got Pheasantipity EX here in order to flip the script and give us a way to draw cards when our Pokemon are knocked down. And we got Radiant Greninja in here if you'd rather go that route for dr card draw. The ideal situation is you got four Drifloomed Driftblims in play, right? And then you've got... Uh, one slot open for Monkey Dory, and then one more slot open for either Bench Protecting, Draw, or Draw, right? Um, those are kind of the ideals. And of course, people are going to want to, like, boss up Pheasantipity, knock it out, so then you can play down the Radiant Greninja and still get some card draw, right? There's there's different ways you can play this, right? Um, Energy-wise, we're playing 8 Psychic and 2 Dark. Pretty simple, right? The two dark are for the are for the two monkey dory that we're playing, and the eight psychic are of course for the drift limbs. Drift limbs in play. Uh, we are playing four ultra balls that we can try to find our Pokemon. You know what? Let me do this. There we go. It looks a lot cleaner. I should have done that in the beginning. We're playing four copies of Moonlit Hill, mostly to win the stadium war, keep whatever stadium our opponent wants out of play so that we can have our own stadium. It does also help that I can heal our Pokemon by 30, which counteracts the 30 that Driftbloom's doing, so we're able to kind of stay in a, a bit longer. We've got four copies of Earthen Vessel, that way we can make sure we get the energy we need. We don't want to miss a single turn of energy attachments, because that's going to put us behind, and that's going to make it harder for Balloon Blast to pop off. We got four copies of Professor's Research. Sorry, I almost jumped ahead. Four copies of Professor's Research, so we can discard our hand, draw seven best draw card in the game. We've got three copies of Buddy Buddy Poppin, get our Drift Looms out, and maybe Manaphy. We got... Uh, four copies of Super Rod. We are discard. We we go through a lot here, right? We got a discard for Greninja. We got a discard for uh, for uh, Moonlit Hill. We've got Drift Blooms that are going to possibly be KOing our, KOing our own Drift Looms. Like we got a lot going on here. We need all four uh, Drift Loom Drift Blim in play. That way, uh, everyone explode now can actually do stuff. So we need those Super Rods to get our Pokemon back so that we can actually be doing big attacks, right? So we got a lot going on here. We got two copies of Iono for a little bit of disruption. We got one copy of Maximum Belt. That's right, I'm going with Maximum Belt as the A spec. I just find 250 to be a better number than 200. A lot of uh, uh, basic 
EXs are in like the 220 range, right? And then there's some lower uh, stage one EXs are at 250. So maximum belt just helps with the numbers a little bit, right? We've got three copies of Nest Ball because our basics aren't all below 70 HP. We got three copies of Bravery Charm to help our Drift Loom stay in play longer. We got two copies of Boss's Order so we can target our uh, particular Pokemon. And then we've got three copies of Arvin to search out items and tool cards. And it's just a really good card all around. Let's go ahead, take it into some matchmaking here and see how well I do. I will be honest, I built this a while ago and I haven't played it for like over a week. So we're gonna see how well I can do it. It's supposed to be a cheap Driftloom deck, right? Um, Pheasant is is probably the most expensive card there, but it's supposed to be cheap. It's supposed to be easy to play. Let's see if it actually works out for us. Um, and I still consider it to be jank. This isn't how you would want to play that Driftloom. You'd want to partner it with Gardevoir and have more control over your damage sort of thing. But I love the Driftloom. And also that Driftloom is popper legal which is interesting and um don't know how i would make a popper version of the deck by removing i mean if you lose radiant greninja and pheasantipity where's your draw right so yeah that's kind of where i'm saying oh and you'd lose monkey dory and everything all those basics and we mulligan that's crazy that is crazy legitimately crazy uh ah, these sleeves i like those sleeves and we're starting with Monkey Dory. This is terrible. This is just flat out terrible. And what? Our opponent goes first, I assume. I don't remember clicking yes to go first. Yeah, our opponent goes first. It's Festival Lead. It's Diplin. That's really gonna hurt us. Like, holy cow. What a perfect counter to us, right? Um, all I can do on my first turn is really attach an energy to Monkey Dory. Um, I can buy by Poppin for some Drift Looms. That wouldn't be too bad. Um, see, I, I definitely want to hold on to my um, Moonlit Hills here because, uh, and, yeah, enter. Um, because my opponent's going to want to be playing Festival uh, Festival Grounds so that their po Festival Lead Pokemon can attack twice, and I want to keep that stadium the heck out of here, right? We don't need that stadium in here. We need Moonlit Hill, right? So forget Festival Grounds. Just go to a nice Moonlit Hill. It's very beautiful you know festival grounds with too many people okay honestly just too many people yeah there it is see look at that look at all those people huh too many people there. <laughs> uh all right so they got swirlix they got gold dean it's gotta be it's it's gotta be uh uh diplin right it's gotta be a diplin deck are they really just using festival lead thwacky to build some other monstrosity and that it uses festival grounds Come on, there's no way. Well, Dean has 50, Swirlix has 50. That's interesting. I could just attach to Monkey Dory and start mind bending. And um, while the confusion probably won't stick, I'll at least start taking prizes super fast. And I won't be damaging myself quite as fast. Ooh, that Applin. I want, I, I want to knock out that Applin so badly. If I could top deck Boss's orders, that would probably just be the best thing ever, you know? get rid of that Applin. Thwacky? I thought they already thwackied. What the heck? They're going for like Nest Ball or something? I forgot to bring up water. Thankfully I've had this water sing here for like two months? So hopefully it's fine. It's water. Why wouldn't it be? But you never know. Okay, so they are going to put two damage counters on one of my Pokemon twice. They're putting on Monkey Dory, that's interesting. And the fact that I don't have a dark energy just really hurts here. Because then I could throw that damage right back on them, you know? Um, so one, two, a three, four. I really need a, a, a draw card. Like, anything. Please give me something an Arvin or two, like, all right, so we're gonna get our knockout here, we're gonna get the first prize of the game, yay, Driftblim, I've already got two in play, come on, I need energy, I need Arvins, I need earthen vessels, I need stuff, 
It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There's a Grookey. So now they can Thwacky for a Thwacky. And then Thwacky for some item. And then next turn they'll Thwacky for the third Thwacky, right? Plenty of Thwackies to Thwacky for. Choice Belt on the Grookey. That's... That's interesting. Is it just to get it out of hand? Like... What do they play that requires a smaller hand size? It's not like they're playing... Okay, Cynthia's Ambition, that's why. I got it. That's a good play. That was a good play. Although, I would have thwackied first to make sure it was in the deck. But, you know, maybe th they learned that during their other thwacky. So, Whirlpool. Hmm. Yeah, see, and they didn't thwacky for a thwacky. So, if they didn't draw another thwacky... Oh, Ultra Ball for a thwacky? Yeah. Or Ultra Ball for a Diplin and then retreat into the Diplin, throw on one energy, and knock out my monkey Dory. Um, yeah, that wouldn't be nice. Although, if they don't get fe Festival Grounds in play, they won't knock me out unless they have another benched Pokemon. So, choices, choices. They're playing Rillaboom? What the heck is going on here? Why do they play Rillaboom? Wait, what I miss? I missed something. Dang it, I think it was just a Thwacky. It looked green. Could be a Diplin, could be a Thwacky. <laughs> it's a Thwacky. Okay, okay. Now this Thwacky can go get the Diplin. Gotcha, gotcha. <sighs> Alright, let's see. What do we get here? What do we get here? Bug catching set. Did you seriously thwacky for a bug catching set? Oh, it's because you need the evolution and the energy. And if you don't get it here, which since this has taken so long, I would guess you didn't, then we are probably in the driver's seat right now. The, I, if I was with him, I would probably retreat to Goldeen into something we don't mind losing. They got the evolution. They got Relor too. Hey, they got Relor in there. That means they got Rabska. And you know what? This, this, this is a uh, Denny Koo guy is uh, pretty cool by me. So, Rabska, I think it is uh, undervalued. They already had the energy. What the heck was that bug catching set for? And they didn't retreat for the attack? Oh, what is going on here? I just don't like it. I really just don't like it. I'm going to grab Pheasantipity. It's a weird choice, I know, but when they knock out my monkey Dory... I'll be able to draw three, right? And I'm assuming that they're going to knock out my monkey Dory. Boop. Two prizes ahead. We're looking pretty good. We got Bravery Charm, which I could throw on Pheasantipity and just give it some extra bulk in case they wanted to try to, you know, attack it or something. Or I could throw on Monkey Dory even. But it's their turn. And if they get Festival Grounds, which they can. They got two Thwackies. And they get, uh, well, yeah, if they get Festival Grounds. I'm knocked out, but they're obviously going to also want to get a basic Pokemon in play, like an Applin, for when I knock out this Diplin on my next turn. Hopefully. I just got to get some energy. Come on! There's an argument, there's a serious argument, that Night Stretcher instead of uh, Super Rod. But, my biggest question with that is... Um, it's, it's going to be difficult to decide which one to grab. You only got four chances, where with Super Rod, you've got 12 chances, right? So, yeah, it's, it's difficult to say, but you know what? It is what it is. Do you think they're playing the Hydrapple? That wasn't the Hydrapple, was it? That would be interesting. I don't see Hydrapple working well in this sort of setup, but I'm, I'm willing to be proved wrong, you know? They, they thwackied for a thwacky, and then they're going to thwacky for, probably not a thwacky, probably a rabska. Um, but yeah, yeah. They sure are getting everything that they need, which is way better than I am right now. There's that rabska, even though I'm not going to be dealing any damage to the bench. Okay. So, they'll knock out Monkey Dory, and then they'll damage one of my Drift Blims. And that Drift Blim will take damage when everyone explodes now. Countercatcher? Oh, dang. They hit me with the Maximum Belt. Yo, that is 
that that was a good move that I should have seen coming and I didn't and that's my fault but I am still gonna be ahead um, I'm gonna be ahead on turns which is interesting um, which means that basically if I can keep up with them I'm, I'm gonna win right for every prize I take if they take one after me that's fine right bravery charm moonlit hill professor's research let's get some stuff going here okay okay we got one of those um do i play down the drift loom or is it too early i think i hold the drift loom now nah, let's just go for it right treat drift blim um throw mon another monkey dory or i can just go get my last drift one start getting some damage up right but do i want that or do i want some draw they're not playing any axes so that that just doesn't matter right not make a huge mistake with that. Alright, there goes their Diplin. All I gotta do is keep up, right? So I can evolve these Drift Blooms into Drift Blooms. I don't need to be Balloon Blasting anyone, which is a is a attack that requires some setup, right? So I wonder what they're thinking though, right? Uh, if they get Festival Grounds out, which they can, um, and the Diplin, uh, they're going to want to take multiple prizes, right? And they can get a one-hit KO on Drifloon. They can get a one-hit KO on Drifloon. So I got to play this really carefully. And I don't know if I'll be able to outplay that for that long, right? Wow, they got all that stuff back? That's crazy, yo. Yo. Why didn't they grab the, dr the Diplin instead of, like, you know, Swirlix or something, right? Like, that, that seems weird to me. But hey, hey, I'm not the one piloting their deck. They are. They they clearly know about it better than me, right? Okay, okay, we're two we're two Moonlit Hills down, and they are three festival grounds down. So as long as we can keep this up, this professor's research, if it does not get me a Moonlit Hill, I am in trouble, right? Boom, boom, groove. One last time. Just get every card you can think of. I'm gonna boss up the Monkey Dory. Grass Energy on the Applin. Do the wave. Yep, they knock out Drift Blum. But then I'm gonna put Monkey Dory, which they're gonna, you know, struggle to knock out. Boop. Right, so they don't knock it out with this attack. Go. There we go. Professor's research. Ah, that that kind of stinks, you know. Like, um, that could have been something else. I'm gonna max and belt this drift plume just because I can. Okay, let's see. Super rod in one, two, three. Bravery Charm Drift Loom. Radiant Greninja. I can nest ball for the other Drift Loom, but I don't need to. And is Concealed Cards worth it? I've got three Psychic Energy. About to be four in the discard. This would make it five. But I don't have... I don't have Moonlit Hill. Drifloom. Concealed cards. Come on. Moonlit Hill. Dang! I miss Moonlit Hill. I'm gonna retreat. Drifloom. That hurts. That that hurts. Um, they're gonna knock out this Drifloom. Then I gotta put up Radiant Greninja. 
um, and I don't have a way to retreat it easily, right? It's just energy attachment. Um, so I might be losing Radiant Greninja. I, I, I might give up Monkey Dory here. Um, or I might give up this Drifling. But that just, it puts me behind, right? And I don't want that. Uh, they got three Thwacky set up, so even an Iono won't hurt them that badly, right? Um, bringing them down to two while I'm also down to two, not going to make a big difference. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm going to give up Monkey Dory after this Drifblim. Um, and the logic there is Monkey Dory is no longer useful, period. I just need some evolutions, and I need to get things going, right? Uh, I got 24 cards left in deck. That means I got a third of my deck still there, and I need to minimize in order to uh, mi minimize my deck in order to maximize my opportunities. I guess that's a way to put it, right? Super Rod. Lucky them. I would kill to have, you know, another Super Rod. I've got three in the deck. Although, in fairness, maybe I got two in the deck, you know? But that's just gonna put them down to one prize. Putting them down to one prize is terrible for me. Absolutely terrible. Okay, I got some interesting cards, at the very least. I'm trying to think of what I can do and nothing's coming to mind. That's terrible. Ah, oh, jeez, that's terrible. I think they got me, honestly. I think they've got me, and I'm just out of luck. Um, I don't know what else to do. Like, I've got Earthen Vessel. I got Earthen Vessel so I can uh, conceal cards, so I can see more cards, so I can possibly get a Drift Blade, right? Monkey Dory, Radiant Greninja. Radiant Greninja, they won't KO this turn. Ah, jeez. I don't like this move. I really don't, but I don't know what else to do. Right? Bravery Charm. Winter Plume. Earth and Vessel. I know, that Earthen Vessel hurt me too. It hurt me a lot, trust me. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. I got it, I got it, I got it. Give me a Drift Worm. They gave me a Moonlit Hill. I don't think I survived this with anyone. Oh my gosh, I don't know who. Analysis paralysis, seriously. Let's put that there. I don't survive. If they get Festival Ground, I don't survive. So I got hope. Their last two prizes, one of them is Festival Ground. Because they can go ahead and search with Thwacky with whatever they want, right? Oh, man. Diplin is such a great counter to jank decks. Like, let me tell you. Driflin is built to be fighting EXs. There we go. We lost. We lost. It's all gone. And they're playing Roseanne's backup. Seriously, are they in my Discord? If you are in my Discord, you gotta let me know, right? Oh my gosh. This is like such the deck that was built in the Discord, right? Roseanne's backup? Like, no one was playing that card. Yeah, yeah. This is just the most rock-solid Diplin deck that I've seen. Period. I really needed that drift blend. How many did I have in deck? I had three. Then you could have gotten me one or an out to one. Come on. Come on, game. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not mad at the game. I'm mad at myself. 
I should not have played the bravery charm on that Drifloom. I should have played on this one. Then when I would have promoted it, it would have survived. Right? Like, that would have been huge. And yeah, they would have been down to one prize. But I, I had this uh, Monkey Dory set up, so it would be throwing damage. It's not going to throw enough damage, though, so... Yep. Good game. GG's. Um, I did get outplayed, but the deck did what it needed to, right? It showed off Drift Blim in a very good way, right? Um, sadly, it just wasn't enough to get us a win. We weren't... Drift Blim isn't built to win against single prize decks, right? It's built to win against EXs and whatnot. That's why there's the maximum belt. And them getting those two prizes off my Pheasantipity um, was a huge mistake by me. I could have just held on to the mess ball or however I got it, I forget. And, uh, yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. We'll do a quick little open thing at the end of this, right? How many tiers is this? 50? 50. Oh, jeez. And six weeks. Six times seven. Forty something. Uh, collect rewards. 42. 42 days um, for me to go 39 levels. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Uh, here we go. Here's the pack. We got Impidimp. Charge a bug. Last Trumpet, Sandalit, Raging Bolt, Bufalant. There we go. There we go. Um, and I gotta play three stadiums now. Holy cow, I guess I was behind. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you that do. Let me know what you think of Drift Bloom. If there's anywhere I can update it, please let me know. I'd love to. Uh, if you catch this the day it goes out, I might be streaming. I'm going to be streaming later that day, so, like, you know, be sure to check back. Uh, you can check out the bell to get a notification for when I go live, and we'll be playing and editing and having fun, right? So, and it's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. It's my birthday on stream. We're going to be celebrating my birthday, um, and hopefully that will be a lot of fun, and hopefully we'll see you there. Um, thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate each and every one of you. Of course, until next time, keep playing Jake.